Hello, welcome to a new tutorial of Deepak for SketchUp. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Continuous Dimension tool of Deepak. As you can see, Deepak has a simplified version of the SketchUp's Dimension tool. There are just a few differences that we have to take in consideration. So let me show you how this works. First of all, we have to make sure that the geometry of the floor plan is in addition mode or exploded. Now, I select the Continuous Dimension tool and click in one point to create a line which crosses our floor plan. This line will automatically display the dimensions of the limited spaces and then I can click again to confirm the end of the line. Once the second point is confirmed, I can move the dimensions along the respective axis and click again to confirm its final position. After this, the back allows you to select each dimension individually. This way, I can move or delete specific dimensions. However, if I don't want to display the width of the walls, for example, I can easily indicate the minimum dimensions value that the back will display when using this tool. To do this, I select the Dimension tool again and before creating the line, I type the minimum value, for example, 0.26 meters, and hit Enter. This way, I'll make sure that the back won't display any measurement below 0.26 meters. This feature will definitely help us a lot to ignore certain dimensions. So as you can see, another simple and powerful tool of the back for SketchUp. Thanks for watching. See you in our next tutorial. Goodbye.